So first and 10 now in Buffalo territory at the 45-yard line. Alert 16. Alert 16. Ship, ship. Check. Look at me. Go on. Go on. Out of the shotgun, they run with Barkley. And for one of the few times here today, this run's not going to go anywhere. Mike Mitchell coming up from the secondary to make the stop. That time they're able to bottle him up, but he's having a really nice game. I agree with that. Let's just go big picture, right? Every back that's in the Hall of Fame had carries where they didn't gain yardage or they lost yardage, but you stick with them, don't you? When they're having a good game, keep feeding them. Hey, tight, tight down, tight down. There you go. Hey, exit. Throwing on second down, Manning. On the left side, a catch by Wayne. And he's going to get this inside the 30. 15 yards on the play, first down. Partner, this is one of the best routes anyone can have in their offensive playbook. Tough to defend because you think it's a go route, and then he breaks it back on the comeback. There's one other thing you need as well. A well-thrown ball. Exactly right. You have a guy who has some precision in throwing the football because Better of the ready. timing of the route. Ten Lobo. Rabbit, rabbit. Rabbit, rabbit. Check safety, check safety. Go. Go. Manning turns and gives this to Goldman. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. And that's a strong pickup right there on first down. And as this drive goes on, we're seeing an offensive line and running game imposing its will. The last run got nine. That leaves him with second and a yard. They'll run with Barkley. And he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley with two touchdowns on the season, both in this game. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. A good, sustained drive there in this third quarter, capping it off with a touchdown to give them a nice two-score advantage. It was actually a fun one to watch, wasn't it? I mean, for me, seeing the mix of what they did, how they moved the ball downfield, very sharp, too. Each and every play seemed to be executed with great dispatch. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. So they will accept the penalty and move forward. The Bills come to the line to start their next drive. And they had three points last time, but they didn't want three points because they were well within range of scoring a touchdown. We'll see if they can do better now. I'm with you on that one. Let's just go ahead and be frank about the whole thing. The only one happy about the three-point kicker. Exactly. You put it through the post. That's going to help him at contract time. But that offense, they're thinking, let's get in the end zone this time. I don't know if that helped him at contract time. You, you could have kicked that one through. I don't know about that. Toe bash. I don't know about <laughs> that. Toe <-bashed> <laughs> Super toe. <laughs> So the big play gets him all the way down to the outskirts of the red zone here for first and ten. Here's Allen. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. We have not seen a whole lot of wide open receivers. Everything seemingly has been contested. And that's another nice job there to force an incompletion. They've been very cohesive knowing each other's moves all game long, and they've been on the spot just about every time. And they've held them in check on the scoreboard. From the 21, it's second and 10. Allen now to throw again. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. A gain of 13. It's a first down. I think it all came together there. In-breaking route. Drove it with excellent pace. Money throw right there to move the sticks.
First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Let's make these babies cry. Again, they'll throw with Allen. And it's caught. And he'll take it into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Isaiah McKenzie, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are back within a single score. Hauschka adds the extra point, and that will shave one more off this lead. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. That last drive, it was a good mix. Run, pass, run, pass. Defense on their toes. And what really helps out in a big way is when you're doing the run-pass mix and everything's working, that means that they're guessing wrong every time on defense. They think you're going to pass when you run and vice versa. I would continue that, and when they finally draw a beat on you, maybe you mix it up a little bit, a little play action and throw the ball. And will they maintain that balance? Time to find out. Line of scrimmage moves from their own 25 all the way to the red zone now for first and 10. Here's Gallman. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll run again here with Goldman. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Wayne Goldman, his first touchdown of the new season. And the Giants are able to add on to their lead. Solid job up front. Really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. Yeah, that was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run. End result, six points. Touchdown. PAT up and good by Rosas. And the lead now up to 14. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This is taken about seven yards deep. And all that worked, but he stopped where he ultimately would have been, and he's simply taken a knee, and that's the 25-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And they're hoping to redo their efforts in the last drive when they got into the end zone. And just think of what it's like now on the sideline, because when you score a touchdown, you have to go over and look at the tablet and see what you did on the last drive. When you scored points, it's a whole lot better view than when you're trying to figure out how to fix things there. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. An incomplete pass leads to second and 10 from the 25. Kill, kill, kill. Alert, alert, alert. Pass 85, pass 85. Squeeze. Rick, Rick, Allen. To throw again, Allen. And a flag comes in as that one falls incomplete. Well, let's see who this is on. 
Trying to defend the out route there, got the P.I. call. And you know what's difficult about that one is sometimes you want to make the undercut move and go for the football, and other times just want to hang on the upfield shoulder and make the tackle. And he got caught in between and created a foul. And an alley to run. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. 25 yards to pick up there and also a first down. We'll definitely see some open running lanes, and he's taking advantage of it right now, but that shouldn't be a surprise. Defense has the lead. They're playing for the pass first. So the drive takes him into Giants territory now, first and 10 at the 44-yard line. From the gun, it's Allen. And he'll toss this one incomplete. Seeing no options, he throws it away. Got out of the pocket. Didn't look like he had anybody open, Charles, so just gets rid of it. And a good play by him. If no one's open and you don't have a running lane that you want to take, make the right choice, get rid of it, live to fight another down. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. Now Allen, going to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Didn't have a receiver open downfield, as it turned out. Couldn't even find his outlet, man, because of the coverage. It's way too tight. Unable to find anyone open. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. Working out of the shotgun. Here's Allen. Got his man complete over the middle. That's McKenzie. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 27-yard line. It's a gain of 17 yards. And in a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. Allen with a throw caught by Beasley. A good pick up there. Eight yards on the first down completion. Facing a second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. A shotgun handoff now to Yeldon. And now they're inside the ten as he's brought down at the nine. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Now, yes, a two-possession game, but a good chunk of time on the clock, so they have the ability still there to run it on second and short, but maybe they need to pick it up a bit. You're right. They did pick up the first down there, but they, as you mentioned, they have to pick up the pace now because it's a two-possession game. They've got to get there twice to make sure they have a chance to win. Alert, alert, alert. And here's Allen. From the gun, he'll throw. And he can't find anywhere to go with it, and he goes down. Dexter Lawrence brings him down, and that's a play he's going to remember. The first sack of his NFL career. They'll try again on second and goal after going backwards to the 12. Now Allen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And he is into the end zone for a Buffalo touchdown. Corey Grant, his first touchdown here of the new campaign as his guys are back within a single score. Hauschka with the extra point as this gets him back within a touchdown and a two-point conversion. So they elect to decline it. And why not? Just go ahead and let the play stand, and they'll take that. Hauschka now to send this one away following the score. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll be stopped just shy of the 25 with a penalty marker down. Here's the call. Boy, a tight game like this, fourth quarter, personal foul penalties, a no-no. Yeah, we know the emotions are running high. The tensions are the same. Who can control them best could ultimately win it.
The Giants offense at the line, ready to begin their next drive. They have the lead, obviously, late in the game. I guess the good news for them is if for some reason they would make a mistake, a field goal does the opposition no good. Everyone loves to have a little bit of a cushion, and that helps you immeasurably. But the bottom line is, do all the things that you're taught in order to close out the game. Don't even let that become an issue. Yeah, but it's still a one-possession game. This one not fully over yet. The previous run, good for nine. Here's second and a yard. Barkley. And he'll take it down shy of the 45 at the 46. Seven yards there and a first down. Uh, he's still rumbling, isn't he? Still looking fresh in this one despite the heavy workload. But you and I both know, well-conditioned, and he did tell us that he thrives on being at his peak late in ball games. it to Ellis into the right side. The completion good for three and it's second down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. On second down now. Barkley, not much there. Maybe a couple as he's taken down at the 40. Partner, we know today's NFL is really built around the guy throwing the football. But these short runs, they still pay dividends because they can take their toll on a defense and they can add up as the game goes along. You control the clock, you control the ball, and that way you often control the game. From the gun on third down, Manning. And Ingram holds it in. And he's going to get this down near the 20-yard line. And he's got a first down as the tackle made at the Bills 21. He's been the go-to guy. They needed a big play there on third down, went his way, it worked out. Doesn't matter whether they've scouted it or that they think he's going to get the ball. He has a knack for finding his way open and completing the connection. Set, 15, one, 51. Watch the run, watch the run, watch the run. Ready, ready. A first down carry for Barkley. So a nice job to break the one tackle, but not much daylight after that as he's brought down. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Brings up second and seven at the 17-yard line. This drive's taken more than three minutes off the clock already as they come up on second down. To throw, it's Manning. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. He was looking for Evan Ingram, the tight end. But now it's third down. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field, and really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. Here's play number seven on the drive. This is third and seven. Now Manning. They'll set up the screen to Barkley. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down. Got the big completion. 